What's up, guys? This is Shredder James, bringing you guys another episode of The Vikings of Scandinavia. So, guys, we're Vikings. Yeah, we're Vikings. And right now, we are doing a lot of uh, Viking stuff, like uh, destroying the world and conquering and destroying the. Specifically, we destroyed the Danish and Norwegians and claimed our final looking. Scandinavian look, which I'm quite happy about. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyways, um, right now we are now going to be recovering from a war. Um, we have a huge, gigantic war debt. Um, we have tons of stuff to deal with. Like, we need to start dealing with our like s uh, management of overextension. Deal with all these future rebels. I mean, we are about to deal, I mean, seriously guys, we are about to deal with one of the biggest problems of the year. I mean, there are so many people that are going to be revolting. In fact, I'm going to look at the revolt risk and look where we have to really send our troops. So right here is definitely a place we have to send most of our troops. So I'm going to send my troops right there to kind of block up this area. And it seems like they're revolting over here. Yeah, you see what I mean? We're going to be dealing with a lot of bad stuff happening to us and I'm not going and I sh and I'm not going to until until we are completely stable I'm not going to disband my other army because what I think I need to do is kind of disband all my armies to kind of make sure that you know everything starts to run smoothly in my empire again but until I can get everything underneath my control and I mean firmly underneath my control I mean we have no difficulties keeping everything underneath our empire range and anything like that I'm not going to delete my armies and I'm almost I'm gonna wait until I can get a one stability pop-up there we go there that should help us a lot in a different a lot of different areas no no it doesn't seem like it okay so I'm going to like put this at like 1.81 so, there we go. And that's guarding that, that's guarding that. I can split up a little bit. I'll send these guys over here. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to be guarding our land for the longest of time to make sure nothing, you know, evil or bad happens. And over here, I'm going to spend militaristic tech to make sure that they calm down. So I don't want that I don't want the Danish to revolt until we have poured them and made sure that they are part of our empire. Because they're already accepted culture. All we need to do is just convert that island and it's basically ours. So Bohatans are rebe rebelling against me. Not necessarily what I was thinking of, but apparently Yeah, you, this colony better not revolt, otherwise I'm gonna attack it. But apparently they want to fight me, so I'm gonna go over there and gonna go teach those Bohatan people. What's up? Oh, and they spawn on top of me. Deal with my... Yeah. If you spawn on top of me, you guys are gonna win. So, yeah, let me just keep my militaristic tech at low. And, yeah, we're gonna be trying to, uh, manage our armies, keep everything fine, and just generally do a lot of things, guys. I mean, I'm also going to think I'm going to finally start deleting some of my, uh, outdated outdated units Since this is, I think this is a good time to start doing all that and right now we are outdated in our in almost everything so I'm going to combine these I mean most of my army right now is outdated I mean all these light ships are basically outdated yeah my flights are a little bit outdated my bogs are definitely outdated um, we are definitely out there, but I'll actually keep my bogs because I'm going to use them, but for my galleys, they're a little bit too outdated. I'm going to have to delete them. My bogs, though, I think what I'm going to have them do is have them, you know, start doing trading again. Confirming trade and protecting trade again so that we can start gaining more income. Alright, you guys protect the trade of the only one I care about, which is uh, the Baltic Sea. 
Baltic Sea is the one I really do care for. Actually, I should probably invest in more than just the Baltic Sea like the other ones, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, do we have all these guys? Yeah, seems like we're doing pretty good over here. But over here, we are having... Uh, gosh, the, they're gonna make me send an army over there, aren't they? Like, I didn't want to send an army to the colonies just yet, but they're gonna make me, aren't they? They're gonna make me send an army just specifically for America. Like, it's, it's gonna be like, really America, really? You guys make me send an entire army just for you guys. Oh my gosh. Shazwa, really, I don't, I just, we're trying to secure our reign after we just went through a lot of, I mean, look at all this. This is not looking very good to us. I mean, this is just constant attack by all these people in the Danish. Oh gosh, I don't even know why the Danish should be revolting against this low morale. Okay, if we do this for like a couple turns, that does that help you guys out? Okay, now you guys are unlocked. I'm gonna go send you guys to the new world because our colonies are just like... Oh, like these are a little bit more than that. Oh yeah, this is a little bit more. Okay, so let me get down to some of these guys. Okay, and select you guys. You guys are gonna go on the ship. I'm gonna send you guys to the colonies to go help my army go deal with all this stupid. Seriously, this is all kind of stupid. I shouldn't be having. You guys should not be getting mad at me for what I try to do. Okay? Seriously. I'm just trying to help you guys out. And honestly, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to, like, destroy you. I'm just trying to help you guys out. And we're almost done converting the last of this conversion successful, yes. Alright. So another place I want to start converting is... Huh. That's a good place I could start converting. Um, let's just let's just keep going down the list, because I really don't care. Just keep going down the list. We're gonna keep moving down until we've converted everything. Now I'm gonna go bankrupt again this turn. Great. Good news. Naval supplies. It's not good the fact I have to kinda yeah. I already knew and some of my loans are coming due. I can't really deal with that right now. I'm going Oh my gosh, I have 350 in debt, which isn't too, too bad. I mean, it's still manageable. We're still basically manageable. Okay, go drop go drop off right here for a second. I'm going to go have you guys go drop off so you guys go kill off those rebels. And then, yeah, go kill off those rebels. Okay, get out of here. You guys go right there. Are you my, you're my one care bell. Why don't you guys go towards the... Chesapeake Bay. You'll be my one like ship going to the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> the siege of Powhatan. Oh no! Oh no! The natives have uprised. Dang it! So that means okay. So we're gonna so quickly we're gonna stop by here. Kill off all the natives. Not even a real challenge because they they did the stupid thing of attacking my colonies, and I'm not really putting up with that right now. And major revolts. Uh, not too bad. I mean, we've had worse, so, yeah. This is what I mean. We're gonna have to keep our, we're gonna have to keep all this underneath our control for just a little bit, because this is going to be majorly crazy for a little bit. Let's get a call on that. Uh, <laughs> okay, now that we've done with that, you guys go over here, go combine with that army. Okay. This is a proper colonial army right here. There's no way no no, if they if the natives try to attack me, they're just gonna die. Okay, you think I could assault this? No, it's a level two. Okay, I'm going to divide these guys up. Go send this army up here. To go deal with the northernmost colony. You see what I mean? The natives don't know why they're attacking because it's kind of stupid. I have seven thousand. There is no way they have more than seven thousand. I mean, maybe in Africa, but not here, definitely. And right here, just finished up with its colonizing. Gonna start calling that immediately, and I think I'm gonna start. Hmm. I think I, Portugal seems to be moving much closer into this area. Do I want Jamaica? 
Uh, this would be kind of nice to have the Jamaica Canal. Hmm. I kind of do want to block up all this. Well, let's see. This colony is going to finish up in a very long time. This won't be that long, but... Hmm. Gah, which one should I do? Let's see. Which one has the more power? This one. Jamaica! We're going to go send people to Jamaica! Because I really do want those steel drums. <laughs> I really do, like, seriously guys, I really do want those steel drums. Okay, and now that we, okay, I think we finally stabilized most of our realm. I can finally start, you know, start making some actual money. Delete all of our inflation. There we go. Yeah, now we can start actually making money again. Now we can start repaying back our loans. Which, let's see. We have to make 397. So, yeah, now we just need to sit back and relax and do absolutely nothing. Because <sighs> we need to honestly not spend anything at all. Invest in heavy ships. Diplomatic technology cost. Uh, this would help us a little bit more because diplomatic stuff comes at a very hard rate for us. And we don't really invest in ships that much, so... It's not that big of a loss if we lose some ships. Like, quite honestly, it really does not come as that big of a loss. Anyways, let's see. Does Novgorod still hate us? Yes, they do. Maybe what we should do is uh, improve relations. Uh, Lithuania, we could try to start improving relationships with. Yeah, and as you guys know, I'm just trying to improve the relationship so that we just... The siege is finally over. Yes, okay. So that's going to be like my middle colonies, like Guardian... So I'm going to have some troops right here guarding this place to make sure that they don't have anything. They have a point, lose prestige. Let's do some militaristic power, because I think if you get below 25%, thing start, thing, bad things start to happen to your, like, militaristic stuff. And this is Scandinavian Patrolius. So those are just revolutionary ideal people. Not actual revolutionaries, alright. You guys go this way. You guys go crush them yet, yeah, because I think if you get below a certain prestige in the game, it actually, you've gained a core province, yes. But that should help us out a lot more with money, okay? And, yeah, this is, we're definitely getting a lot of stuff, but, yeah, if you don't, you don't start this, uh, okay, it seems like, yeah, as soon as I leave my soldiers, the soldiers all revolt. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep my militaries expanding out a little bit high for a little bit. Go send these guys, go half of them. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens, guys. You just have some of these days where just like everyone turns against you. Which is some of those days, and anyone else that's revolting against me, no. Yeah, okay, so I can now get back to spending zero. And some days you have really good days when no one, everyone's your friend. This is apparently not one of those days. Everyone is like trying to revolt against me. At least I have control over all my colonies. And we're all basically growing. Completion, success, uh, administrative. We use administrative a lot more. Okay. So, Sire, our National Bank of Loan Adductance has expired. Uh, we pay loan, I guess. So I guess it pays automatically towards people. I don't know. I mean, that that's the kind of feeling I'm getting from this. It's just that it automatically pays for the loans. We've gained a core province. Between which, how many cores do I have left? Ooh. I have no cores left. Yes! Okay, that should mean less rebellions and more just peacetime. That is nice. That is definitely nice. So now, guys, we can just relax. We don't have anything to really deal with. Except for one thing. I've been thinking... Actually, there's one thing I do want to do. And that is... I've been thinking about starting a war with Huron. I think I mentioned this earlier before. Because they have an uh, insane amount of gold. Or at least most nations that... Oh, wait. Let's just go right here. Most nations that are... That are like this have an insane amount of gold, and I want to see income. No, charts, inflations. Let's see loans, trade. What would it be?
Okay, this is what I mean. So let's see, we're not doing the best in terms of income. But I want to see our treasury. Hmm. I'm going to be very mad. There it is! Wow! It was literally the next page. So yeah, look at these guys. If you only have 5,000 pieces of gold, and they honestly don't have that big of an army, I mean, the Huron are like... In fact, it'd be better sorting it like this. The Huron are like... Here? 18,000 men in total. So basically, the men we have right here already are enough to go bring down the Huron at our current pace. And since we have a permanent causes belly against all pagans, yeah, you guys, can you guys see where I'm going with this? Yeah, let's get this little island converted so I don't have to deal with many more uh, revolts from there. Because I want to make sure this island is completely non-corruptible. <gasps> End of religious turmoil! Our country has now now recovered from disastrous fractions of religious turmoil. And now together in one piece. Yes! Oh, yes! Finally! I mean, seriously, that took a very long time, but, oh gosh, we are finally in one piece. No longer. Gosh, we're finally in one piece. No longer are we like a divided people. We are now religiously sanctioned on the fact that we believe in the Protestant religion. Oh, I forgot to increase this for one. There we go. Yeah. And, I mean, we won't have to have our... And now since we're making some real good dough, I think it'd be a good idea to, you know, group up my men, send them in. I mean, honestly, we don't need that much to go destroy natives. So, I mean, 13k is going to be way more than enough to go destroy the Huron. So, I think it'd be a good idea. And since we're right now doing good, I think it'd be a really good idea. So, let me get a conquistador, conquistador, and now I can instantly declare... Uh, war because I can have show superiority so I don't even have to wait which is the nice thing so I'm gonna gonna just, just slow down time just a little bit so that I can make sure I don't mess up on anything and now we're just gonna we're going to first discover all the land of these guys and then we're going to go declare war and then we're going to uh, you know fight them off We've gained a core province in Tortuga. Yes. Now this is all core province. That's good. They seem to be... Seems like the Spanish... I mean, the Portuguese are setting up the sites on here, which is okay. I don't mind them, like, going into the Caribbean and being, like, the Spanish. Even though the Spanish are right here. I don't mind them being, like, the Spanish. I don't mind being where I am either. But we're going to quickly... What we're going to do is we're just going to explore all of the uh, lakes. Defeat whatever... Let's do that first. Yeah. It won't, it doesn't, I don't think it really matters that we don't even support our man, but we're going to quickly circle around everywhere to make sure that we discovered everything, and then we'll start, like, you know, slowly sieging everything. I think it's important that we discover everything before we do anything. Because you know what I mean, guys? It's just that kind of way, so we make sure that we don't, like, miss anything. So let's just keep hurrying, and that way we can just solidly just siege down everything without having to deal with anything. Alright, and by the way, they're also rushing into our land, I know, but that's not really a big concern to me. I'm actually kind of encouraging that they rush into my land, because I want to see what they have. And I want to kind of, if they could just kind of group up all their people into one place, it would kind of really help us out, because then we can just destroy them all in one big gigantic goal. Local, more local recruiting, yay! It kind of, like seriously guys, if they can just group up all their men in one place, it helps us out so much. Like, I'm doing, except for that. That's the only thing I think that just did not help us. Is the fact that they just did that. I'm going to have to go destroy these guys. Okay, and yep, they grouped up all their men into one place. Should be able to kill them. Yeah. Not even going to say that this is going to be a slaughter. Let's go destroy this army right here. Actually, detach a couple men to go right here. To go gain back our colony that apparently was taken over. But since it is a colony, 
That means it just we just need to like walk over the province and it'll become ours back. Yep. Okay. And now we're going to start sieging down all this land. And I'm sorry guys, but that'll be the episode for today. So thank you guys for watching. Next episode we will get into the war with Huron to take all their money. And I'll see you guys next time. Ah, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Victor. No, not Victoria 2. It's EU4, guys. Seriously. I mean, gosh, this has been like 35 episodes, and I still can't get this right. Anyways, um, 